Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalie and I'm the owner of Poised and Prepped and I sell pre-loved clothing for men, women, and children. And today I am gonna be talking about five new ways to increase your sales on Poshmark. Standing underneath the lights. Tip number one is price dropping. So I'm talking about this one first because this is my favorite one on the list and the one that I have personally seen the most results from recently. So I talk a lot about sending out offers to likers and this is definitely my first go-to way to increase my sales on Poshmark. However, my second favorite way recently has been price dropping. Now, why this is so good is that on Poshmark, when someone likes one of your items, you essentially have two chances to make that sale. So when someone likes an item on Poshmark, you can only send them an offer two times. After that, Poshmark does not allow you to continually send multiple offers on an item to someone. So the reason that I love price dropping is because it's another way that you can get a notification to a potential buyer about your item without using one of your offers to likers. This is how it works. If you pull up an item in your closet, you'll look down at the bottom right hand screen and you'll click right here and it gives you the option of either selecting sending out offers to likers or doing an edit price drop, which is public. So in order to get Postmark to actually send the notifications to potential buyers, you have to drop the price of your item by at least 10%. So what I have been doing recently is just that, dropping the prices of items by 10% and then Postmark is then sending them a notification, letting them know that the price of an item has been dropped by 10%. Guys, I'm not kidding. I even did this yesterday and I made five sales in the first hour. So it is really working for me right now. It is one of my favorite things that I have been doing to increase my sales. So if you are not utilizing the price drop feature to get notifications to buyers, I would definitely suggest giving it a try. Tip number two is using stories. So stories are like a newer feature on Poshmark and it's one that for a really long time, I'm not even sure I knew what was on there, but I ran across some information over on Instagram where I saw people talking about how they thought that using stories was really helping boost them in the new Postmark algorithm. So of course this intrigued me because of course I'm always looking for ways to increase my sales and boost my algorithm on Poshmark, so I decided to give it a try. So this is what I've been doing. I have been taking photos of my items or videos of my items and adding new ones to my stories every single day. So I don't really know if this works. It's pretty hard to know for sure, but I do believe I see a lot more of activity in my closet since I have started utilizing stories as a feature. So if you go onto Poshmark and you go under the feed, you'll see where the little story icons will pop up for everybody's closet. Now, I rarely click on these, but I'm a seller primarily on Poshmark. But you have to try and think about things from a buyer's perspective. So if a buyer comes on the app and they're on that homepage and your little icon is popping up at the top of their page and they click on it and they see a picture or a video of an item in your closet, you are essentially increasing traffic to your closet for them to look at other items and increasing your chance of sales. So I have been doing this personally, trying to make sure that I am uploading a new story over on my profile every single day. I definitely think it's something to consider, so I definitely wanted to mention it in today's video. Tip number three is sharing other people's items. So I remember back in the day when I first got into reselling, everybody was saying, don't share other people's items. It's a big waste of time. Just focus on sharing your own closet every day. And I did that. Very rarely would I take time to go and sit on the app and share other people's items. But when Poshmark changed their algorithm, 
They also changed a lot of other things, including the Postmark Ambassador requirements. And one of the key things that changed in order to maintain being a Postmark Ambassador is sharing a certain amount each quarter of other people's items. So it really starts to make you wonder if that may have something to do with the amount of activity that you're seeing in your closets. I don't know, I have been hearing some talk in the reseller world that sharing other people's items is boosting traffic and activity in people's closets. So I have been taking the time every day and sharing people's closets, sharing back items. So I don't really know if there's an exact way to tell if this is making a big impact, but I know I've heard from a lot of people that they feel like when they share other people's items on a daily basis, they are seeing a lot more activity on their items and in their closet. So just be mindful about that. Maybe it's something that you can look into for yourself and see if it works for you. Tip number four is following new people on the app. So over on Poshmark, there is actually a way where you can see new users on the app. This is a really great way to drive activity and potential sales to your closet because these are people who have just signed up for Postmark for the very first time. Now, we know that new users, when they come on an app or a new platform, they are spending a lot of time browsing, looking at everything, shopping. So by you following them right when they are new to Poshmark, you are increasing your chances that they are gonna come to your closet and do some shopping. Tip number five is keywords. So I've talked about keywords in some previous videos, but in today's video, I actually wanna show you sort of step-by-step -step how to actually find keywords to put into your listings and your titles. So let's look at an example. If I search dresses over on Poshmark and hit search, up at the top of the screen, you're gonna notice there's all these words that are in bubbles. Now, these words are really, really important because these words are the most commonly searched keywords on Poshmark. That's why Poshmark is highlighting them for buyers when they're searching for things on the app. So by looking at this information and these keywords, let's say Western or Boho or mini dress is what pops up in these keywords. By adding these key descriptions into your titles and in your listings, you are gonna drive a lot of buyers to your listings and potentially increase your sales on Poshmark. So this is a great way if you are having trouble finding and locating what keywords to use in your titles, this is the way to find them. So I definitely wanted to talk about this in today's video so that you guys have a very clear way of finding these keywords so you can put them in your listings. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I really hope that these five tips will help you to increase your sales over on Poshmark. Please hit that like and subscribe button and I will see all of you again soon. Bye everybody. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes